I built this Amazon price tracker using Bing's ChatGPT. You can add any item to the price tracking list. You can set how often you want the price to get checked, and you can also remove the items from the tracking list. You can find this extension in the Firefox add-on store. Now let me show you how I built this plugin. The prompt will be in the description. Okay, so let's head over to Bing and take a look at the prompt that we're going to be using. It's a pretty large prompt, so I'm just going to summarize it for you. The first part is just telling ChatGPT to inject a button onto the Amazon site, and when that button is clicked, it should scrape the data from the item. In our case, it's going to be the title, the image, and price. After that, it should put the items in a tracking list and ask the user how often it should check in on the price. When the price is lower than our desired price, send a notification to the user. The user should be able to remove the item from the list and the rest is just basically highlighting some modules and permissions. Okay, so we're going to need files to make this plugin work. We're going to need the manifest.json file. We're going to hold the settings for our plugin. Uh, the popup.html, which is going to be the web page for our plugin. The popup.js, which is going to make the web page work. The background.js is going to be the code that works in the background for us and does all the communication. And the content.js is going to be the file that injects uh, the Amazon web page with our button. So let's ask ChatGPT to provide us with all the code for all of these files. Now let's head over to Visual Studio so we can create our file and paste the code inside our files. You can see in our projects folder we have a file called icon128.png. That's going to be the image we're going to use for our plugin. The size of the image is 128 by 128. So let's copy the code, paste the code, and it looks like in the code under default icons it's showing that our image icon 128 it's going to be placed in an images folder so let's just change all these images into icon 128.png since we only have one photo let's also create a new folder named images save the file now let's create popup.html Copy the code, paste the code, save the file, create popup.js, copy the code, paste the code, save the file. Let's create background.js, copy the code, paste the code, save the file. Now let's create content.js, copy the code. Paste the code and save the file. Now let's head over to Chrome and open up the extensions page. Let's click on Load Unpack. Select your project folder. Now you can see that our Amazon price tracker has loaded. Let's click on the top right of the screen. Click on the extensions icon and you see our extensions there with our image. Click on the pin. Now when we click on our extension, you can see that our pop-up.html is working. Let's head over to an Amazon product page and let's refresh this page to see if our button is going to pop up in front of the title. Okay, so our button has loaded. Now let's try clicking on it and see what happens. Okay, so when we click on this button, we should be getting prompted to insert information and it doesn't appear to be working. So let's head back to ChatGPT and see if we can get some updated code. So let's type in, nothing is happening when I click on the price tracker button. I am not being prompted and the items are not displaying in the tracker list. 
please provide updated code. ChatGPT provided us with new code for our content.js. Let's copy the code. Paste the code inside the file. Save the file. Now let's go back into our Chrome plugins page. Refresh the plugin by clicking this little button here. Now let's refresh the page and see if it works. That doesn't seem to work. Let's go back into ChatGPT. I typed in, that did not help. Please provide updated popup.js. Okay, so let's copy the code, paste the code, save the file. Let's go back and refresh the plugin. Now let's refresh the page. So it looks like it's still not working. I'm going to right click our browser plugin here and click on inspect to see if we can find any errors. I don't see any errors here. Let's go back to the extensions page and see if we can find an error. It looks like we have two errors, so let's copy them and paste them into ChatGPT. It looks like the errors are complaining that they're unable to find the product name and the image and as well as the title. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the Amazon web page, click inspect, and we're going to click this little arrow button on the top here. And we're going to select every element and grab the class ID and the class name here. And we're going to paste it into ChatGPT so it knows where to look for each item. So it looks like it provided us a portion of code for our content.js. So let's copy that and paste that into the code. Save the file and refresh the plugin. Now let's refresh the Amazon web page. Okay, so now we're getting prompted. Now it's asking to put in our desired price. So I'm going to put in a number that's over our current price to simulate if this is going to work. Looks like it didn't prompt me to see how often I would check the price. Let's see if the item was actually added to the track list. And it looks like it wasn't. So let's head over to ChatGPT and see if we can get more updated code. So I type, I am getting prompted, but now it's still not appearing in the popup.html. And I am not getting notified when the desired price is higher than the current price. Provide updated code, please. So it looks like it provided code for background.js and popup.js. So let's copy the code and paste it into the files. Save the file. Now let's refresh the plugin. Refresh the Amazon web page. So let's click on price tracker. I'm going to type in 30 for the desired price. And now we're being prompted for how often it checks the price. Looks like the intervals are set for hours. We're going to want to change that since we're going to want to test this. So I'm going to set it to a minute. Um, for now, I'm just going to type in one. 
Now let's check to see if the item got added to our tracker list. It looks like it has. Uh, however, it looks like we don't have a remove button. So let's go back to ChatGPT and see if we can get some more updated code. And that concludes part one of this tutorial.